ahead of a crucial meeting between German Chancellor Olaf Scholz and President Putin. Russia's defense ministry today said that some forces deployed near Ukraine have begun returning to their bases after having completed their tasks. These units belong to southern and western military districts, according to reports carried by Russian news agencies. These developments come after Russia seemingly opened a door on Monday to a diplomatic resolution to the Ukraine standoff. The change in tone was displayed in a carefully choreographed meeting between President Putin and his foreign minister, Sergei Lavrov. This was their televised address. Безопасностью в Европе и а, ответа на наши озабоченности, связанные с Женя по поводу реакции на полученные а, ответы. Привлекая их внимание к тому, что обязательства по неделимости безопасности гораздо там же содержатся конкретные предложения по целому ряду мер а, снижения военных. Putin asks Lavrov if there was a chance of reaching an agreement with the West. Lavrov suggested continuing with dialogue. Putin says fine, giving his assent from the other end of an extremely long table. Meanwhile, Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov has said that Putin was willing to hold talks on security guarantees and willing to negotiate. As speculation mounts, German Chancellor Olaf Scholz is due in Moscow today, for talks with Putin. This is the latest such visit by European leaders aimed at avoiding a full-blown conflict. Ahead of his trip to Moscow, Scholz visited Kiev on Monday and vowed that Berlin and its Western allies would maintain support for Ukraine's security and independence, urging Russia to take up offers of dialogue. But Berlin's close business relations with Moscow and heavy reliance on Russian natural gas imports have been a source of lingering concern. Now, for more on this, joining us live from Moscow is our correspondent Stuart Smith. Hello to you, Stuart. Thank you for being with us. Now, there are reports that some Russian troops are heading back to their permanent bases from the south and western side. What's the latest update that you have for us? Yeah, that's right. So Russia's divided into different military districts and as we've learned throughout the last month, some have come from as far east as the eastern military district right near Vladivostok, closer to Japan than Ukraine. But this is the uh, troops apparently, according to the Ministry of Defense, from the southern and western military districts, the districts closer to Ukraine, not the ones stationed in Belarus, mind, but the other ones. And they have now, uh, some of them, been recalled, according to the Ministry of Defense, because the drills they were due to take part in have been concluded. It's not clear exactly which specific drills that uh, that is in reference to, because there have been multiple drills taken place all the time some announced at short notice some long planned and we know though that this is starting already the announcement came today and already troops and equipment are being put onto railways and moved east now we don't know if this is of course the start of something more is this the de-escalation which the united states and nato allies have been trying to get for weeks or is this simply the movement of a small number of troops Right. Uh, what can we expect when uh, the German Chancellor meets with President Putin in a short while from now? Yes, that's right. He's expected in Moscow, or may even be in Moscow right now, landing uh, at Vnukovo Airport in central Moscow. He's due to head to the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier and lay a wreath, a wreath there, as most foreign leaders do when they visit. But the main purpose of his visit, of course, is to speak with Russian President Vladimir Putin. He's going to discuss Germany's position, which, of course, is that Russia should not invade Ukraine, that there would be heavy economic penalties if it should do so. But the big elephant in the room for the German Chancellor is to what degree Germany is willing to put the Nord Stream 2 gas pipeline on the table 
in these talks. The United States and where the Western countries in general would like to see Germany say that Nord Stream 2 cannot go ahead if Russia invades Ukraine. But the Chancellor has not yet been that firm. He's not ruled it out. He's not definitely said Germany would do it. However, Josep Borrell, the EU foreign uh, minister in effect for the European Union, has said that Nord Stream 2 will not go ahead if Russia invades Ukraine, seemingly making that decision for him. Either way, Russia, of course, would not want this pipeline to be dragged into discussions and is against the use of sanctions unilaterally by countries regardless. Sure, thank you. We'll leave it there and, of course, be keeping a close eye on all the latest developments. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.